What's up, TerraCore Tribe? It's Allison. For this workout, we're doing a 45 minute intermediate HIIT routine. All you need is your TerraCore, a light and moderate pair of dumbbells, and your medium resistance power long loop bands. We'll be working five blocks containing four exercises each, 30 seconds on and a 20 second rest in between, and repeating each block two times. This is your longest intermediate routine, so you'll have those extra options to make it more advanced, but if you're not quite feeling it, feel free to stay at the foundation level. So grab your equipment and some water, and let's get started. Let's start with the warm up. March it out in place, keeping the abs tight and the spine long. Deep breath, inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale through the mouth, let it out. Good, do it again. Inhale through the nose, reach. Exhale out, two more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale out, and one more here. Big swoop up and let it out. Let's keep those legs moving, gradually bringing the heart rate up, extend those arms, long fingertips, small circles forward. Inhale, exhale around. Since we are working hit style, we wanna make sure that we're properly bringing the heart rate up and getting all the muscles warmed. Start to make it a little bit bigger. Still moving forward. You've got it in four, three, two. Tiny circles backwards with the arms. Keep the march with the legs. You've got it. Starting to feel a little bit of heat in the shoulders. Gradually make it bigger. Perfect, in five, four, three, two, and one. Shake out those arms, keep the march. Take those feet out wide. Hands on the hips, tap the toes wide. So your feet about, are about the width of your terror core, maybe a little more narrow. Heels are down, drop the hips down and up. Add an arm reach overhead, lift, lift, good. Nice swoop with the arms. Dropping the hips low, eight more. In, four, three, keep the legs, both arms, chest press, out and in, out and in. Good job. All right, now keep the arms, step, touch the feet. Nice and easy, heels are down, perfect. We are gonna incorporate the TerraCore a little bit with this warm up to get used to that dynamic surface. In three, two, keep the arms, tap the toe on top. Nice and easy on top of that dome. Perfect. Both arms reach overhead. Keep the legs, reach and pull. Drive the elbows down to the sides. You've got it. Back and front chest, out and in. Now tap corner to corner. Just adding a little bit of an angle to it. Perfect. Eight more. There's eight, seven, six, in, four, three, Heel dig, bicep curl, heel, heel. So bending that knee just a little bit more. Elbows are tight to the sides. Eight more. Good job. Four, three. All right, give me a light march. All right, go to one side of your TerraCore, having some space on the floor in front. We're gonna do an inchworm walkout plank hold and then walk back to warm up the core and the hamstrings. So since we're still in warm up phase, bend the knees as much as you need to. Walk those hands out, go into a high plank, hold, engage the core, and then come back up to stand. Let's do that five times. Here we go, walk out, hold your plank, walk back, come back to stand. Very nice. Whew. And with each one, if you can straighten the legs just a bit more, keeping a soft knee, that'll be good. If you need more of a warm up, keep it bent. Perfect. Two more right here. Woo, walk it out. High plank, walk back, and one more. Good job. And here, staying in that standing position, hip opener squat. Taking one side, open that knee, plant the foot down, sink back for a squat, step the feet together. Other side, open, squat down. We have 10 of these, let's go. Open and down. So if you still need a little more warm up, shorten this range of motion for the squat. As you get more warmed, sink lower. Woo. Good job. Gradually make it a little bit bigger. We have four more. Here's four. Sink low. Three. Woo. Two more. And one more here. Good, keeping those feet shut with apart. Arms are up, windmills, reaching opposite toe or opposite fingers to the toe. Here we go, big 10. Reach down, 
Reach up for 10. Woo, nine, keeping the abs tight. Nice long fingertips. Beautiful. There's six, five, and four. Last two right here. And one more. Good, wiggle those feet in. Hands in the quad, slow flat back. Round up halfway, dip one shoulder in, look over the other. Stretching out that lower back. Take some breaths in and out, let the heart rate come down a bit. And switch, dip the other shoulder in. Look up to the ceiling. And just hold that. Good, center up, round up, one vertebrae at a time. Head and shoulders come last. Once you're on top, three big shoulder rolls back. And then we have three forward. Inhale, reach those arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, let it out. One more time, deep breath in, feet together on the toes, reach. And let it out, good job. Grab a drink, grab your equipment, and let's get started. We've been longing to escape, and here we are. Let's get set up for block number one. For the first exercise, take your power long loop band and loop it around the front handle of your terracor. We're kicking off with a set of upright rows and squats on top of the terracor. So once you loop it around here, give it a little pull and make sure it's secure. And then once it's there, grab the handles and carefully step on top of that terracor. The lower you grab, the more tension you have. We're gonna squat down, upright row, and then bring it up. Get ready, and let's begin. Squat down and then up. Elbows are staying high, abs are tight, and then driving through the heels. Now with this one, it's gonna test your balance, so core is engaged. We're also working the shoulders and the legs. So it's a great full body movement to get it going. Now coming up, our cardio movement is gonna be the same in each block for that particular block. So for this next one, we are hitting some power knees corner to corner. You have a few more seconds here and stop. Keep that band looped, it's not gonna be in the way. All right, so for your cardio, again, power knees corner and corner, you can either do this, keeping it low, or add a little hop, arms reach up like a jump shot in basketball. Step up, down, down. Make sure the heels are on the ground. Let's go. Step lift. Abs are tight, entire foot lands on top of that dome. Whew. Knee comes all the way up to the chest, Still working that dynamic surface. If you need to keep this low, take that hop out. Perfect. Still a strong knee. Whew. Up, lift. So remember this move. It's gonna come back in a moment. Yes. And stop. Grab either your light or moderate pair of dumbbells. We're doing alternating reverse lunges with a slow jab punch forward. Starting on top of your terracor with your arms, elbows tight, palms in, reverse lunge, step back. Extend the other arm, rotate, and let's start. Same arm, same leg goes back. Knees are soft, abs are tight. Whew. Keep it up, keep it up, and breathe. You can do it. Stay there, stay there. Watch your balance. You're doing great. Woo. Keep going. Three, two, one, and stop. Put those weights down. One more set. Power knees corner corner. Keep that march going if you can in between the exercises. We do get a drink break after this one. Woo. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So every move in this first block is definitely heart pumping. You're not getting too much of a long recovery in between. Just enough time that your heart rate comes down a bit, but doesn't drop all the way. Woo! Come on, keep it up. It's only four exercises per block. So this is your last one. Awesome. Stay there, stay there. And stop. Whew. Take a minute, grab a drink. We're on a set number two. Welcome back. 
we're on the set two of block number one. Kicking off is those upright rows and squats on top of that terra core. So if you didn't take it out, your band should already be looped, but if you need to re-loop it, go ahead and do that now. Once you're set, carefully step on top of that terra core, find your balance. Toes are forward, feet shoulder width apart. Grab that band, the lower it is, the more intense. Shoulders back, and let's do it. Squat and upright row. Keep your gaze forward. This is a challenging move. Whew. And the deeper the squat goes, the more intense it is. So listen to your body, do what feels right, and breathe. Whew. Exhale, lift, inhale down. Keep it up, keep it up. You're almost there. Up on deck, those power knees corner, corner. Breathe. Five seconds left, come on. And stop, all right, it was a little less than five. <laughs> it's a good surprise. March it out, keep moving. Knees corner, corner. Add that hop, keep it low. Do whatever works for you. Deep breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, let it out. We're getting ready. And let's start. Lift up and down. Knees are staying soft. Make sure the heel touches down on that terra core and on the floor. That's really important. You don't want to slip. So work in that dynamic surface. We actually have a little less pressure and tension on the knees since it's not a solid hard um, top. Whew. Breathe. Remember, if you want to, keep it low. No hops. And stop. Grab your weights, light or moderate. Alternating reverse lunges, starting on top of the terra core with weighted jabs. All right, so take a moment, get your composure, find your space on top, feet are together, arms are up, elbows tight, palms facing in, let's go. Same arm, same leg moves. Knees are staying soft. Heart rate staying up. Woo! This one's harder than it looks. Find that balance. Good. Keep the arms strong throughout. It's always a challenge with balance when your arms and legs are moving, but you've got this. Woo! Keep it up, keep it up. And stop. Final set of power knees. Place those weights down. Give me that march. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale out. Get one more of those breaths. Woo! Knees corner, corner, how you like. Coming up. Let's go. Up, lift. Up, lift. Come on, get that knee up to the chest. Strong with the arms. Woo! If you're taking it a little bit lower, you're here. Same strong knee without the jump. Up, power. Yes. Come on, finish block one strong. Woo! You got it. Breathe. Three, two, one, and stop. Awesome job. Grab a drink, you're on to block number two. Let's get ready for block number two. Kicking it off is a staggered squat outer thigh lift with an overhead shoulder press. Starting on one side of your terra core, we'll stay on the same side in this movement. Palm face in, squat down, outer thigh, add the press overhead. Down, and then lift. And you wanna make sure that this heel touches the ground every time. Okay, get ready, and let's start. Squat down, extend up. And then with that foot on top, you're pushing off of that heel, keeping that knee soft. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, drive up. If you need to modify, you can shorten the range of motion and do alternating arms instead, or use your heavier weights. Or not your heavier weights, your lighter weights. <laughs> Whew. Breathe. Punch it up. Good job. Remember the side you're on, we'll do the other side on the second set. Let's stop. Second move is a burpee. Flip it over, dome side down. Watch me for the first one. I'm going to jump back, out and in, jump up, come to stand carefully. Bend the knees, jump out, jump in, come up and stand. Let's start. Bend the knees, place the dome down, carefully come up and stand. Squeezing the glutes on top, Woo. Keeping the core tight, down, in, out. Woo. Feeling the hamstrings, 
Perfect. Squeeze. Heart rate's up. Keep breathing. Finish strong. And stop. You can go ahead and set this down. Grab your band. Next move. Alternating Romanian deadlift to rows. Take your band, step with it. A little bit narrow the shoulder width apart. I'm gonna make an X, crisscross. We're gonna hinge down, row, come up and squeeze. Ready? Let's start. Down, row, come up. Adjust the resistance as you need to. Bring your hands lower on the band if it's too light. For that row, think about squeezing the shoulder blades together on the top end. Good. We have one more round of burpees after this. So get ready for it. Whew. Down, row, come up, and stop. Good job. Ooh, hopefully you weren't like me and flipped your dome over. We want to back dome side down, back to the burpee, jumping the feet out and in, coming up, lifting that terror core off the ground. Whew. Take a breath in and out. Get ready, and let's start. Bring it down, jump in and out, come up, core is tight, squeeze to stand. Bend those knees to place it back down. Protect your back. Good. Can you keep that terra core centered as well when you're in that plank position? Steady as a rock. Push through the heels, come to stand. Yes. Come on, finish strong, we get a drink after this. Woo. Breathe. And stop, good job. Grab a drink, we're on a set number two. Welcome back. We have the other side for set number two. Coming up is squat out of thigh lifts with an overhead shoulder press. I went ahead and moved my tear core on the other side so I know which side to do. So palms facing in, remember inside foot's on, we squat down, we extend the arms, we extend that outer thigh, making sure the heels are down. So light or moderate weight, get yourself set, toes forward, elbows tight. In three, two, one, let's go. Sink low, drive up. Find your balance, keep the base knee soft, and really extend that outside leg. Whew. Another full body exercise. Gets the heart rate up quickly. Take your time. Hammer modification, shorter range. Do alternating arms. Remember, do what's best for you and what's challenging. Whew. Down, press up. Awesome. And stop. Set those weights down. Burpees are coming up. Flip it over dome side down. Remember, it can stay dome side down for the remainder of this block. Burpees with the jump out and in. Come back up, stand with the dome, or stand with the terra core. Okay, get ready, and let's start. Bend down, jump out and in. Jump up, press the heel, squeeze the glutes. Bend those knees when you place it down, protect the back. Whew. Down, out in. You're lifting 28 pounds off that terra core equipment. So strong. Whew. Yes. Down and out. Heart rate definitely shoots up quick on this one. Breathe. And stop. Keep it there. Grab your band. Romanian deadlift row combo. Remember your band, how you like. Step. Feet a little bit narrow the shoulder width apart. If you like to make that X, lower the grip, more challenging it is. Okay, let's go. Hinge forward, soft knees, row. Come right back up. Abs are tight, back is flat, and really depending on your hamstring flexibility, how low that you're going with this, but just make sure you're not getting to the point where it pinches behind your knees, All right? Inhale down. I feel a stretch in the lower part of the hamstring. Come right back up after the row. Whew. Whew. Keep it up, keep it up. Squeeze and lift. Okay, final set of burpees. Are you ready? Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, let it out. We're getting ready, just 30 seconds. And that is it, these are your only burpees for this entire workout. Okay, get ready, set. Let's go, set it down, in, out. 
jump up, lift. You know what to do. Now just check your form. Make sure you're bending those knees, lighten the toes when you jump out and in. Whew. Press through those heels when you come up to stand. Good. Let's go, let's go. Almost done. Come on, let's wrap up block number two strong. Woo. Keep it up, keep it up. And stop. Great job. Grab a good drink. Block number three is coming up. Block number three, we only have two moves. We're gonna do stationary Bulgarian lunges and hammer curls, staying on the one side, and then the cardio move is, is gonna be a quick crossover. And then we're gonna repeat again on the other side. So starting off on the floor, reach one leg back, Bulgarian lunge, shoulders back, palms in. We're gonna lunge down, perform your hammer curl, and then bring it back up. Elbows tight and keeping good posture. Ready, set, and let's go. Down and lift. Pressing through that front heel on the ground, Bending that back knee and pushing through the ball of your foot on top of that terracore. Now for the arms, we're doing a hammer curl, which means palms are facing in, elbows tight. Still working that dynamic surface with the back leg elevated. So watch your balance and think about pushing through that front heel on the ground. Whew. Remember the side you're on now. We'll get the other side in a moment. You got it. And stop, back foot comes up. Put the weights down, but close by. Crossover taps, same inside foot that was on the um, terracor first, we're gonna have now. All we're doing is tap over, tap over. It's quick, over the top, over the top. And then the second round, or after this one, we'll have the other foot on. Ready, let's go. Tap, tap, tap. So it's a quick, over the top of that back leg. You're gonna start to feel this front leg working. Right about now, <laughs> Woo. That quad's gonna be a little bit more on fire. But you've got it. Keep up that tempo. Yes, this one's sneaky. It doesn't feel too bad when it starts, but kicks in. Keep breathing. Heart rate's up. Woo. And stop. Walk it out, walk it out. Okay, so we only have two moves, right? Grab your weights. Other leg Bulgarian lunge. So reach back now with the other toe. Set it up. Shoulders back, palms in. Take a breath. In three, two, one, let's do it. Down and up. So feeling a little bit different, being the other side. Elbows are tight, working hard. Whew. Press through that front heel, drive through that back toe, and the ball of the foot that's on the terracor. Keep your balance. Good job. Whew. Crossovers are coming up. Other foot will be on top of that dome. In three, two, get one more in there. Good, back foot forward. Weights are down. Okay, other foot's gonna be on top. Crossoving, crossover with that other foot. Take a breath in and out. Now you know what it's gonna feel like. So it won't start off too bad. About 10 seconds in, you're gonna feel it. Let's go. Tap, tap, tap. Keeping that knee bent. Whew. Entire foot on the dome. And you're light with that moving leg. Pushing off at the ball of your foot. That heel does not necessarily need to touch the ground. There's that quad burn. Whew. If you wanna work harder, you get a little lower. If you need to ease up, go a little bit slower. Take breaks when you need to. You're almost there. Drink after this. And stop. Whew. Walk it out, grab a drink. Set number two is coming up. Let's get ready for set number two of block three. Remember, it's only made of two exercises. The first one's gonna be Bulgarian lunges with a bicep curl. So decide which side you wanna start on. Don't worry, we'll get both. Reach that back toe. Other foot hops forward. With the arms, shoulders back, palms in. We do a lunge and the hammer curl at the same time. And let's start. Down and lift. And we're pressing through that front heel. Whew. Bending that back knee, keeping good posture. Lift and lower. Abs are tight. You've got it, you've got it. Second set, going into it a little bit more fatigued, but that's all right, keep the good form. 
Take your time and breathe through it. Woo. Finish it and stop. All right, set it down. Just to remember, let's keep the same toe as the same foot that's on top. Quick crossover taps. Remember that front quad? It's gonna kick in in about 10 seconds in. So take your time with it. Make sure the entire foot's on that dome. Take a breath and let's start. Tap, tap, tap. Good, knees are bent. Light with that back foot moving. Whew. Wanna work harder, get lower. Challenge yourself. Breathe. Come on, you're doing awesome. Hang in there. Whew. There's that front leg burn. Keep it up, keep it up. A few more seconds and we hit the other side for each. And stop, walk it out. I would keep moving during this. Grab those weights. Whew. March it up for another five seconds and then get the other side ready. Bulgarian lunges. Reach back with that other toe. Step forward with the leg, shoulders back, palms in. You ready? Let's begin. Down and up. Elbows tight. Do these slow. This is your strength portion of this block. Whew, so the heart rate might come down a little bit, and that's okay. But it's not gonna drop all the way. Keep going. Breathe. 10 seconds. You can do this. Let me get one more in. Three, two, one. Back foot up. Set those down, shake it out. Okay, other foot's gonna be on top. Last round of these crossovers. So toes are forward. Take a breath, inhale, exhale out. You know the heart rate's gonna go up quick on this, so pace it out. Let's start. Up and over, up and over. Keep that base knee soft and breathe. Yes. Come on, come on. I know you've got this. Strong at the end. After this is done, you're over halfway through this workout. Keep it up. Woo. Almost there, almost there. Stay strong and stop. Fantastic, grab a drink. We're on to your fourth block. Here's your first exercise in block number four. Kicking off, we're doing a set of chest press crunches. We're gonna take that band and place it behind you underneath your arms and then loop your thumbs around. From here, lie all the way down to your terror core and making sure your head down to your hips are supported. Knuckles are facing the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, crunch up, extend the arms, and then bring it down, getting a nice stretch in the shoulders and the chest. Ready, set, let's go. Exhale up, inhale down. Engage the core, and can you crunch up high enough to the shoulder blades are off of that dome? Extend up and lower, good. Woo, breathe. Now, if you're not feeling the crunch, focus on the chest press instead, and rest your upper body. Keep going, keep going. Breathe, press and lower. Let's stop, remove that band. Our cardio move for this block is going to be donkey jumps up over the top. So starting with your hands on top of that terror core, feet together, we're going to jump over the top, jump over the top. In earlier foundation workouts, we added a little bunny hop in between, which you can still do if you'd like to. Okay, let's begin. Up and over, up and over. Think about bringing those heels all the way up to the glutes and clearing that terror core. Staying light on the feet, heels stay lifted. You're also working some shoulders here, keeping your upper body supported and engage the core. Woo. Stay with it, breathe. Three, two, one, and stop. Woo. Shake it out. We're doing a set of tricep dips next. For the dips, start by taking a seat on the terror core. Hands on top, extend those legs. Feet can be flat or they can be straight out. The farther out the legs, the more challenging it is. So you determine how you do this. Okay, ready, set, let's begin. Shoulders back, elbows tight. 
the deeper you go, the more intense. Or if you need to, shorten that range of motion. Whew. Down and press. Feeling the back of the arms, which I know have been working hard this entire workout. But you've got this, you're strong. Whew. Down and press. Up on deck. One more set of donkey jumps over the top. Good. Let's stop. And we shake the wrists out. Okay, you know what's coming. Donkey jumps up and over. So come off that terracor. When you're ready, place those hands on top. So you're cupping the sides. Feet together, knees are bent. Ready, set, and let's go. Up and over, up and over. Woo. Light in the feet, arms are strong, core is tight. Breathe. Woo. Yes, stay there. Come on, come on. We get a drink break after this. Last few seconds. Four, three, two, and stop. Whew, that was a tough one. Grab a drink, we're on to set number two. You're on to your second set of block number four. This is also the last block that has an upper body exercises in it. All right, kicking off are those chest press crunches. Take that band, loop it around yourself, loop your thumbs, and then carefully lie all the way down your terracor. Remember, we're combining the press with the crunch. So knuckles face the ceiling, engage the core, feet are flat, knees bent. Ready, set, let's go. Exhale, extend, inhale, lower. Looking up at that ceiling, keeping your spine and neck in a neutral position, lifting high enough to your shoulder blades are just off the dome. And with that nice dome shaped surface, there should be no pressure on the lower back or the neck. Whew. Good. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Slow and controlled, working on strength. Breathe. Awesome. Three, two, one, and stop. All right, we're done with that band for now. Place to the side. Doggy jumps over the top are next. Woo, so hands will cup the top of that terracor. Feet are together, knees are bent, abs are tight. Get ready, set, and let's begin. Over the top, up. Now if you wanna make it bigger, really kick those heels up towards the glutes. If you need to do those little bunny hops where you're tapping the feet on top of that terracor in between, that's fine as well. Breathe. Whew. Keep it up, keep it up. Heart rate's going back up here. You're doing so good. Three, two, one, and stop. Whew. Shake out the wrists. Okay, take a seat on top. Another 10 seconds or so. Dips are coming up. Remember, the farther up the legs are, the more challenging. The lower you go, the more challenging. So hands on top. Adjust your feet, shoulders back, elbows tight. And let's begin. Down and lift. Woo. Feeling those tries. Shoulders back, elbows tight. Down and press. Perfect. If this is getting to be too challenging, bend those elbows just a little bit. If it's starting to bother your wrist, take a seat on your terracor and maybe do a set of tricep kickbacks or overhead extensions instead with your weights. Woo. You always have options. Good. And stop. Shake up those wrists again. Okay, last set of donkey jumps over the top are next. Whew, this is gonna wrap up block number four, and then your, four, or your fifth block is gonna be mainly all about the core. So, very exciting. But first, let's get through this in three, two, one. Let's go. Over the top, over the top. Whew. Breathe. Come on. Do your last set of these. Make every jump count. Keep it up, keep it up. Over halfway. You're almost there. Whew. Three, two, one, and stop. You made it. Grab a really good drink, you're on to your final block. 
your fifth and final block, it's all about the core. Kicking off, we're doing a set of lower leg press-ups. Lie down on your terracore, and then once you're here, you wanna feel back and either grab the platform or around the dome. Once you're in a comfortable position, carefully extend both legs up, feet are flexed, knees are soft, we're gonna pop those hips up, and then carefully down without adding too much of an extra rocking motion. Ready? Let's go. Press up and down. Feeling it deep in those transverse abs. And because we're on that dome, it's gonna be pretty unsteady on the way down. So focus on staying centered, engage the core, keep your grip on that terror core. Pop up, lower down. Woo. Lift, lower. Good. And if you can't get those hips all the way off the dome, that's okay. Do the best you can. Woo. Lift and down and stop. Carefully come up. We're gonna flip it over dome side down. And it's actually gonna stay dome side down for the remainder of this block. Your cardio move is gonna be a set of mountain climbers. Hands stacked on top, abs are tight. Go as fast as you, or slow as you like to with those climbs. Okay, when you're ready, here we go. In and out. While you're doing this, keep the dome steady and don't let it rock forward and back. If you're not feeling it fast, go slow like we've done before in foundation workouts. The core stays tight. You're still taking the knees all the way up to the chest. This is your last cardio exercise for today. Whew. Breathe. Keep it up, keep it up. Three, two, one, and stop. Drop the knees. Ooh, shake it out. Like I said, we're keeping it dome side down. Our next move, we're in a bare plank position. Knees are bent, knees hovering. Alternating fire hydrants. Sneaking in a bit of um, outer thighs and glutes. Okay, so when you're ready, dome down. Engage the core, bare plank. Let's do it. Hips are staying steady. Up and down raise, working laterally. Whew. And just like we did with those mountain climbers, can you keep that terror core steady? Right in the middle. Minimize the rock. Breathe. I know, more core work here too. Your core is definitely gonna feel this later on. Whew. Three, two, one, and stop. Give yourself a little bit of a stretch, because guess what, we have one more set of mountain climbers before our break. Okay, take a breath, exhale out, keep it dumb side down. Ready, high plank position, three, two, one, let's go, in and out. Remember, this is hit. high intensity workouts, interval training, right? Heart rate stays elevated, short breaks in between, Whew. Breathe. Here's that slow version. Same mountain climber, slower tempo. Keep it up, keep it up. I know, this is your last exercise for today. Breathe. Woo. And stop. Oh my gosh, grab a drink. Your final set is coming up. Welcome back. You've made it to your final set of your final block. Let's kick it off with those lying leg presses. So carefully lie all the way down on the tear core. Feel underneath that platform, you wanna grip, and then carefully extend both legs up to the ceiling. Feet are flexed, knees are bent. Remember, we're popping those um, heels up to the ceiling, raising the hips. Take a deep breath in and out. Going in three, two, one, here we go. Lift up and down. Take the first couple, get used to the movement. We're on that dome-shaped surface, so it's gonna to wanna to have your body roll off. Whew. Lift up, come straight down. Minimize that rock and engage the core. Exhale, inhale. You're doing so good. I'm gonna do the best you can on this one. It's definitely challenging. So if you can't get the hips all the way up, that's okay. Breathe. Whew. And stop. All right, carefully come up. Mountain climbers, your first round of these. In the set, flip it over, dome side down. <clears throat> Remember, we're going in a plank position. Go slow, go fast, whatever's best for you. All right, stack those wrists and shoulders, and let's begin. In and out. Can you keep that terracore steady? 
Bring those knees all the way up to the chest. Engage the core, back is flat. Whew. There's a slow version. If you need to bring it down, that is perfectly fine. That is still challenging in itself. Whew. Come on, come on. Stay with this. Breathe. Three, two, one, and stop. Sink that quick stretch. Keep it dome side down. Bear plank position, alternating fire hydrants. So that lateral movement to the side, abductors, glutes, and more core. Think of it this way, only a minute left to work. You got this. Go on a bear plank, and let's do it. Side to side. Keep the shoulders and hips steady as best you can. Whew. Good, lift, lower. Keep breathing. You're so strong. Hang in there. Woo. Almost done. And then just four more center mountain climbers. You've got it. Three, two, one, and stop. Woo, quick stretch. Shake up those wrists again. This is it, 30 seconds of work. You've made it this far. Finish strong with these mountain climbers. Okay, high plank position. Core is tight, shoulders stacked. Let's go. 30 seconds. When I say you can do anything for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, even 30 seconds. Whew. Breathe. You've got it, half of it's mental. Picture yourself at the finish line. All the way up at those knees and breathe. You're doing so awesome. Last few moments here. Whew. Breathe through it. And stop. Oh my gosh, you did it. Sink back and stretch. Grab a quick drink of water and be back here for stretching. Great job in completing that workout. We're gonna finish off with a nice cool down and stretch. We're actually gonna come back to a standing position. So if you haven't already, flip your TerraCore over, dome side up, and stand next to it. With those feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, hands in the quads, let's stretch side to side. Dipping the shoulder in, whew, letting that heart rate gradually come down. You worked very hard today, a great, great job. If you're ready for it, there is a 45 minute advanced hit session. You can definitely try, and I encourage you to try. Even though things say advanced or intermediate, you can always do modifications if you need to. Hold it over to one side, weights in the base leg, pop at the toe, chest up, abs tight, and then sink into your base leg. Good. Drop the toe, other way, popping up that other toe now. Good. Deep breaths in and out. Drop this toe, walk the feet in, hands on the quad, slow flat back. Round up halfway, just like we did early in the warm up. Dip one shoulder in, look over the other. Feeling that nice little back stretch. And then switch, other side. Dip that shoulder in. Fantastic, center up, flat back. Around all the way up to stand. All right, shoulder rolls back. And forward. Very nice. All right, let's use your TerraCore for a little bit. Low runner's lunge position. One foot forward, one leg back, toes forward. Reach down, fingertips on top of the TerraCore. Now, depending on your flexibility, you can either stay high up here, you can take it here, or you can even get a little bit lower and drop that back knee, push the hips forward, and then lift the chest. Deep breaths in and out. Good. And then carefully come up, step the feet in, switch sides. Other leg goes back. Again, adjust as you need to this lunge. Stay high, medium, or drop it low. Lift that heart and chest. Just breathe. Ooh. Feel free to hold these stretches longer than what we're doing in this video. Remember, this is your time, your cool down. Carefully come up, bring that back foot in. Set those feet about shoulder width with your TerraCore, fingertips on top. Inhale, flat back, gaze forward. 
Exhale, let your upper body fold down. You can use your chair core for assistance. Rock side to side, shake up the head. Another option is to do a little spinal twist, one hand on top of the terracor, other arm up to the ceiling, look at the hand. Good. And then bring it down, switch sides, other hand on top, reach up and over. Carefully bring it down, inhale, flat back again. And then exhale, let the shoulders round until all the tension come out of the back. Allow those arms to dangle in front of you on the floor. Drop your head a little more. Take 10 seconds, slowly come up to a standing position. There's 10, nine, and you're raising one vertebrae at a time. Head and shoulders last. Four, three, two. Once you're on top, three shoulder rolls back. Three forward. Inhale, arms reach up to your ceiling. Exhale, let it out one more time. Reach up, feet together on the toes, and let it all go. My name is Allison. Thank you so much for working out with me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time.